I was like, he, he I said was mad. you messed up. Yeah, he <laughs> I was like, you done messed up. And he was like, oh well. <laughs> Dude, some rats got up in. This this was brought yesterday, and the rats are already getting to it somehow. It's pretty clean on the inside. I was like, hey, this is pretty nice, you know, for whatever year model this is. I'd assume this is like a 2000 model or something, but. Holubchiki. Holubchiki. What's the key holubchiki? Give it. Give it a key holubchiki. Lagoon squad boys. Lunch. Let's go. Tuesday morning. It's a little, a little better than yesterday. Yesterday was a little rainy. Today it's just cloudy. That means we're gonna go ham, ham balam. Call the ham balam. It's gonna be nice and breezy. That's a pretty strong looking Hispanic dude. I haven't seen him. Maybe they got a new crew member out here. But let's go check out what's going on here. I can't wait to have a nice house right there. Cause look at that. Look how cool that looks. It's nice and foggy. Imagine just like. You got your uh, garage, you know, open, lights on. Oh, that's Juan right there. He just had a different shirt on. That's why I made him look buff. But let's go see what he's up to. <laughs> Buenos dias! Buenos dias. How are you? See? You get the list, material list? Yes, sir. Shut up, Juan. Cheeky. Hey, do you think it's too much? Or is it? Dude, some rats got up in. This this was brought yesterday, and the rats are already getting to it somehow. That's crazy. We got to get like some big old mountain lions out here, or something. Let's train some dogs. Seven and a quarter. I'm kind of worried it's gonna be on that side, on that gym side. The traditional roofing with the shingles or whatever is going to like have a little bunch of little glass pieces or rocks that gets into the filter system so glass or, or metal roof is always going to be better because there's nothing that can just fall into that filter. Wow, look at these roof plans. Yeah, look at a big roof. Dude, it's going to be a lot of metal. It's going to be expensive. It's going to be expensive. For the metal? Yeah. Heck, let's just... Heck, let's just um, <laughs> forget about it. <laughs> I think it'd be worth it. They last longer too, right? Probably. Oh yeah, that the metal roof is gonna um, last you probably over 30 years. I'm sure. Why am I so bad? Let's get let's get over here. Oh, then the compressor right there. Right here is good. We're gonna make you famous. Nah. <laughs> I don't even have a good squat hat. That's fine, you have a good squat shirt. Oh, well, step over, step over. We're completely dry out, but we're back over here at the new construction house, and I just wanted to introduce you guys. Hey, you got your socks inside out. I mean, the wrong way. You got the socks the wrong way. <laughs> <laughs> Pointed backwards. Today I'm going to clean out my garage because it's a mess in there, like a big mess. So we got to do some maintenance in there. Been busy with everything. So we got the trailer and get the kit car moved out of there. Get some stuff moved. Maybe we should never work again. Maybe, should we, maybe <laughs> we should find uh, clones of us and Ooh. hire them. Dude, if I had yeah. another me and another you, we'd be good, dude. dude. Maybe, maybe there's somebody out there that looks like us. Hit us up. A doppelganger. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> No, no, He's no. Not used to them. No, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. Ollie, baby. Ollie. Ollie. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, boy. Simon, it's for you. Thank you. From Mama. Where's the Where's the solve yeah, set? <laughs> yeah, where's the solve set? Whoa. Thank you. Feeding my baby snapping turtle. Well, you eat it right you better eat it right now. Another one loves this. I went up to check on uh, what was going on over there at the mountain, and uh, or at the new house, and uh, they're getting stuff done. I mean, it's just hard to capture all this stuff and edit and upload and all that stuff. But you know, we're making it happen. We're making things happen, but they're getting the subfloor done right now. Subfloor, subfloor done, done subfloor, subfloor, subfloor. <laughs> yeah, you. I thought. Well, this the new guy. This is what the new guy does. Doesn't screw the screws up. Now he's he's. I think he's learning how to use that machine, or the machine is not working properly. But he's getting some of, or most of them in. It's just some of them. Are like protruding out, but it's okay if we just hammer it down. This gives me flashbacks from doing hardwood because we'd always have to do this before we do hardwood because it would like mess the floor up. So we had to go through nailing stuff down like this. So better to do it now than later, you know. Just today's my first day. So it's pretty good. They need an electric one because this probably hurts your hands probably after the whole floor. But we getting somewhere. We're gonna jump in, try to get this thing going a lot faster. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Home Depot. Yeah. Home Depot. Home Depot. Okay. Probably call that again. Yeah. Okay. Because they're gonna have a lot of. Them. Yo comprando ahora. Okay. See. Sí. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No habla uh, español. Zero. Come here, Chief. Come here, Chief. Come here. Come here, Chief. Catching flies and bugs. My stepdad. Already knocked out the whole entire sub floor right there. They knocked it out in about three hours or so and it was just cool just watching everything just happen right there. Let's get a little closer look as we always like to do. As you guys can tell this is a sub floor right here. So this stuff is insane but as we're getting a little bit higher here as we're able to walk on the lines maybe we'll grab something to eat because I'm starving man. It's not like what? Um, I'm most excited about the garage man the garage is gonna be my area for sure I'm gonna have like a little gym right there hopefully like a metallic epoxy the floors and just have glass garage doors on the front and the back so that's gonna be awesome but also honestly I'm excited for just watching the whole entire process once it's done I don't know if I'm gonna spend too much time here I think I'm gonna be out and about working but I will spend a good bit of time here probably the weekends Saturdays Sundays but I'm excited for all of it man First car build in this house will probably be I don't know it could be it could be something completely new but number one thing is um, probably get some nice tools in here if, if if he wants to do that in here maybe he wants to turn it into a gym but I say we work on some cars in here so we may even pop up with a new build and just not even ask him just work in here dude do we need to cover that we didn't cover what do they do they first off they ended up Basically just throwing on the plywood. Yeah, they just finished the sub floor finally took them a good bit of time. Okay, you can just fly in right here, perfect amount of room, just land right on it. Хата буде nice, як то красива і хорошо, як то кажуть, і дуже маю до 
правильно поставлена. Считаю, на одном этаже, хотя я, я хотел бы поставить ее на ту часть подвал сделать. Было бы хорошо. Но чтобы быстрее, то лучше без подвала. Это быстрее, потому что сегодня скоро треба мати хату, потому что хочет жить уже отдельно, скоро женится. То я хочу быть отдельно уже. Но еще тут много дел. Еще треба сделать скважину, пробити. О, потом расчистить все, лендскейп сделать. Много есть дел еще по этой хате. Ну ничего, я думаю, будет хорошо. Все, не все сразу, помаленьку будет. So currently about to change the wheels out on this Chevrolet right here because about to go on like a long distance trip, about three hours or so. I'm gonna go to the Biltmore mansion, Biltmore Estates. So those wheels right there, they're not good for long road uh, long road trips because they like shake around and like you can feel every single bump. The original ones, nice and smooth. So we're just gonna quickly swap them out. Sure everything's intact because we did a lift kit on this thing and um, sometimes things get loose so we're just making sure everything's nice and tight which it looks pretty good um, really got to put a put a wrench to it but honestly I think we did a good job I think it's safe well this one time <laughs> we did a lift kit and um, so in the front you're supposed to throw on a steering stabilizer but we didn't do that so we caught some death wobble and death wobble, like it's pretty much once it gets going, it's really hard to stop it. You just gotta slow the vehicle down. So we were hitting highway speeds and really you couldn't slow down because there's traffic behind us and the thing was just shaking like crazy. So that's probably one of the craziest lift kit stories right there. Uh, but other than that, I mean, other, I mean, we just did lift kits and they turned out pretty good. After that scenario, we learned about um, steering stabilizers and we made sure to throw them on every single time. Yeah. Yeah, that looks pretty good. My grandson. Vivi. <laughs> Oh. Might just want to leave it like that. Look at that. Looks like a dually. Dually from the back. Party in the front? No. Business in the front. Party in the back. Go over there, Matt. thing out to a, a little barbecue on the side of the river uh, just with a friend don't buy these no, I mean they're nice they look nice but it's definitely not for not for work I love how they look I love how just like you know the tread is on them you know nice and thin but I don't like how it like vibrates at high speeds it's like it shakes a little bit and um, if you're going a long distance trip it's just not gonna be bearable I mean you can do it but it's gonna wear out the tread and it's just gonna be it's not gonna be good so always nice to have a, I guess an extra pair of stock wheels and or set and just toss them back on for long long distance trips I <laughs> 
А я думаю, на си колеса пойдет. ¿Quieren un buen hilo? ¿Quieren un tope? ¿Tópate desde allá? ¿Desde allá? ¿De tope? Desde allá, arte la... Fiberglass pool. Yeah. Definitely have to knock down all these trees. Putting in my own pool. That'd be pretty nice. That'd be pretty epic. That would be pretty epic. Where's your owner at? Where's your owner? We put a double walk here. That's hilarious. <laughs> okay, so that's the real? So my screenshot. <laughs> That's after I think I was chainsawing and I hit the metal on accident and I knew I messed up. I was recording it. <laughs> what, uh... And I just thought it was the funniest facial expression ever. I was like, he, he I said was you messed up. Yeah, he I was like, you done messed up. And he was like, oh well. <laughs> Where's that at, dude? It was a reel that you made. My wife sent that to me and said somebody got you. <laughs> Oh, I think that was in the video. It was on the YouTube video. Mm. I think I threw that in. Remember I was well, showing? Yeah, but you did have a reel too. That was probably a Snapchat. Yeah, I remember because I, I couldn't have been filming with two phones. I could have, but I didn't. And that's, I think that's hilarious, man. Dude, I don't really like white anymore. I don't even like white cars anymore. <laughs> that blue, man. I think it's called Miami Blue. Oh, shoot. You like Miami to too, don't you? <laughs> My favorite car colors are blues. Like, I love blues. The light blue is like one of my favorite. We don't have a light blue car, but like, I kind of wanted to paint our boat light blue or wrap it. I think that would be really nice. But light blue is my favorite color out of all of them, mm. for sure. We've had all sorts of colors. We've had whites, we've had reds, we've had blues, but nothing like this. So honestly, dude, I've always wanted to have a baby blue like this. That looks really good. And it's like, it's hard to actually paint that type of color where it doesn't look like somebody, some some sort of cheat or oh, some yeah, sort yeah. of cheat Oh yeah, yeah, that's the one I want. That's the one. Yeah. <laughs> that's the one he wants right there. Yeah. It matches your hat and everything. I know it. Wear that hat. What if you had like a whole blue jumpsuit? Yeah, that damages. What if you painted your fingernails blue too? <laughs> Same color? Yeah, I'm not. <laughs> Real nice, this is engineered, yeah? Yeah, what color is that? Half inch. Dang, it looks really good. It does, man. That's why it's, it's a little expensive, but man, it's nice. Dang. That's, what I, that's that... going into like a modern farmhouse, too. Yeah, it looks like some quality wood right there. What does it run a square foot? Uh, I think it's 550 a square foot just for the wood. How much is like the raw planks like that? Like the real wood? Well, that's, that's the reason why I'm doing this. There's way more, right? It, well, it's not that because the wider you go, it's going to smoke. Oh, yeah, that's right. I'll or have Venice to, or something like that. I'll have to ask somebody. Okay. Yeah, I, I get some permission. It's Venetian something in Texas. Venetian. Hey, how much is this wood that I got from my house? Not all of it. figure out the controls on this thing. I was like, where the heck's the window thing? And they're like, the window button, and it's right here. Right now, the key won't even pop out. Crazy. This right here is a Lincoln, dude. Pretty clean on the inside. I was like, dang, this is pretty nice, you know, for whatever year model this is. I'd assume this is like a 2000 model or something, but right now, the key won't pop out. It's got all the fancy buttons. It's got lumbar support. It's got the feet, foot adjustments right there. Let's see what kind of snacks. This is, uh, not Marco's, Ramon. This is Ramon's car right here. Got his lunch, all that good stuff. He had his coffee. Man, I remember, dude, 7-Eleven, man, every construction worker, literally, that's where you live at, man. 
7 Eleven is like a restaurant for the construction workers, man. I remember going there and just just stocking up, man, and just eating out there, man. That's crazy. Oh my, you got a little forest up in here. These are not exactly out. When you're working and you're sweating, you don't smell the best. So you don't want to be driving around and smelling. So you got to have a little mini forest going on right there. So right now what he's gonna do is just take over my job. What I usually do is I do mostly like the nice cinematic shots if I can. But I taught him over the time. And sometimes he kinda does it, but I was just now like kinda just like reminding him how to do it. He totally remembers and he's just gonna get some nice shots of like the walls going up, just like all the epic stuff. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take off and I gotta take care of something very important. He's gonna take care of this and I think we'll be back probably tomorrow and I'm hoping that he captures everything, which I think he will, and he'll just have some talking uh, scenes as well. So it's gonna be pretty epic, a little bit different.